Question 11 of Jam 2016 CRK exam says, One of the prophets that prophesied hope for Israel in spite of God's promise of punishment was Option A, Jeremiah Option B, Amos Option C, Uzziah Option D, Obidiah Now the correct answer to this question is Option A, Jeremiah Jeremiah was one of the prophets that prophesied hope for Israel despite God's promise to punish them. And this can be seen in Jeremiah chapter 30 from verse 1 and 3. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, write in a book all the word that I have spoken to you. For behold, days are coming, says the Lord, when I will restore the fortune of my people, Israel and Judah, says the Lord, and I will bring them back to the land which I gave their father, and they shall take possession of it. So now, from this passage, we can clearly see that it was Jeremiah that prophesied hope for Israel, in spite of God's promise of punishment. Question 12 of Jam 2016 CLK exam says, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The statement above was made in reference to option A, Jeremiah, option B, Ezekiel, option C, Isaiah, option D, Amos. Now, the statement above was made in reference to Isaiah, and this was when he was talking about the vision of God he had in the temple, and this can be seen in Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 3. So, our correct answer to this question is option C, Isaiah. Question 13 of Jam 2016 CRK exam says, In Jesus' teaching about the true vine, he said anyone who does not abide in me shall be Option A, crucified with him Option B, cast forth Option C, taken away Option D, remembered on the last day Now this was when Jesus was teaching about himself and the answer to this question is clearly stated in John chapter 15 verse 6 If a man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and wither, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and born. So now, from this passage, we can clearly see that our correct answer is option B, cast forth. Question 14 of Jam 2016 CRK exam says, Paul returned Philemon's slave back to him to ensure that, option A, he would be welcome when he left prison. Option B, the slave can complete his service time. Option C, to ensure that Philemon forgave and accepts the slave. Option D, he could boast of Philemon's obedience. Now, Paul's letter to Philemon was for Philemon to forgive his slave, Onesimus. And the letter was talking about forgiveness, was totally about forgiveness. And the reason why Paul returned Philemon's slave back to him was to ensure that Philemon forgave and accepted the slave back. So our correct answer is option C and this can be seen in Philemon chapter 1. Question 15 of Jam 2016 CRK exam says, Where did God promise to lengthen Solomon days if he kept his commandment? Option A, Gilbra. Option B, Gibeon, option C, Tabor, option D, Shechem. Now, the correct answer to this question is option B, Gibeon. Gibeon was an important high place where Solomon used to offer a thousand bonds offering. And it was at Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night and said that Solomon should ask anything, which Solomon did ask for wisdom and understanding to rule his people. And because Solomon did not ask for riches or the life of his enemies, the Lord gave him wealth and also made him famous. In 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 14, which says, And if you walk in my ways, keeping my statutes, and if you walk in my ways, keeping my statutes and my commandments, as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. And all this thing was at Gibeon, when Solomon went and offered burnt offering, and the Lord appeared to him in a dream. So our correct answer is option B. Question 16 of Jam 2016 CLK exam says, This man is the power of God, which is called great. The statement above referring to Simon the Magician was made at Option A, Macedonia Option B, Jerusalem Option B, Samaria 
option D, Ephesus. Now, the correct answer to this question can be seen in Acts chapter 8 from verse 9 and 10, which says, But there was a man named Simon who had previously practiced magic in the city and amazed the nation of Samaria, saying that he himself was somebody great. They all eat to him from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is that power of God which is called great. Now, from this passage, we can clearly see that man practiced the magic in the city and amazed the nation of Samaria. So this statement above was made in the city of Samaria and the correct answer is option C, Samaria. Question 17 of Jan 2016 CLK exam says, Paul in Romans said that the righteousness of God had been manifested through faith in Jesus Christ for Option A, the cleansing of sins. Option B, the exaltation of the authority. Option C, all those who believe. Option D, dead in Christ. Now, this was when Paul was talking about being justified by faith. And the correct answer to this question can be seen in Romans chapter 3 from verse 21 and 22. That says, But now the righteousness of God had been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophet bears witness to it, the righteousness of God through faith in Christ Jesus for all who believe. So the correct answer to this question from this passage we've just read clearly states that our answer is option C. The righteousness of God had been manifested through faith in Jesus Christ for all those who believe. Question 18 of Jam 2016 CLK exam says, before Moses brought the Israelites to meet God on Mount Sinai, he charged them to Option A, wash their garments and be consecrated. Option B, ensure they eat very well. Option C, touch the mountain at the site of smoke. Option D, meet with their wives for three days. Now, the correct answer to this question is Option A, wash their garments and be consecrated. And this can be seen in Exodus chapter 19, verse 14, when Moses told the word of the people to the Lord, and the Lord said to Moses, Go and consecrate the people today and tomorrow, and let them wash their garments and be ready on the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. So, before Moses brought the Israelites to meet the Lord on Mount Sinai, he charged them to wash their garments and be consecrated for three days. Question 19 of Jam 2016 CLK exam says, In Matthew's account of Jesus' burial, Joseph who requested the body of Jesus was Option A, Kingdom Seeker Option B, the Council's Elder Option C, his disciple Option D, a Gospel Lover now, the correct answer to this question is clearly stated in Matthew chapter 27 from verse 57, which says, When it was evening, there came a rich man from Aramathea named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. Now, from this passage, it is clearly stated that Joseph of Aramathea, who requested the body of Jesus Christ, was also a disciple of Jesus. So, the correct answer to this question is option C, his disciple. Question 20 of Jam 2016 CLK exam says, What was God's immediate punishment to David for taking Uriah's wife? Option A, God sent Nathan to him. Option B, David's son by Bathsheba died. Option C, Absalom conspired against him. Option D, Solomon built the temple in his place. Now, the correct answer to this question is option B, David's son by Bathsheba died. Now, when David killed Uriah and took his wife, God was angry with David's action and sent prophet Nathan to him to tell him his sins and his punishment. When Nathan told David his sins, David prayed and fasted and God sent Nathan back to him to tell him he has forgiven his sin. But because of he had shown contempt to the Lord, the son born to him would die. And after Nathan had gone home, the Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife had born to David, and he became ill, and seven days later, the child died, and that was God's immediate punishment to David for killing Uriah and taking his wife. So this story can be seen in 2 Samuel 
chapter 12 from verse 13 to 18. So our correct answer to this question, like I said earlier, is option B. David's son by Bathsheba. 